going to be Fox against Palu. You know, actually, interesting thing about Palu is like, I was talking to Nairo about her, uh, just talking to him in a stream, and I was like, hey man, like, who does well against Palutena? Because I was trying to envision it, and he goes, anyone that can get in does well against her is how he feels. And right now, obviously showing that off, 56% right out of the gate against Jen, and Jen's gonna have to shift gears quickly. I mean, the Palo Ditto is gonna be very different than fighting against a twitchy Fox. Yeah, and this is, when it comes to Foxes, this is someone who is able to turn the breakers on if he's going to play lightning fast, play aggro, just constantly stay in your face, and then if he's going to hang back, try to bait a response, figure out how to find your habits and then blow them up later on. And Fox just has such good movement. I mean, yeah, Palu has really good hitboxes, but they kind of linger a little bit. And if you're a Fox and you have good reaction speed like Odyssey does, that's going to be, okay, maybe, should have been punished. But, you know, maybe, he needs to, maybe he needs to clean up the Fox play. You know, I know he's been on Palu a lot, so maybe the Fox is a little bit rusty. But either way, fighting his way back on stage, that back air is going to clean it up. Jen going up the first stock. Now, I'm really curious to see what are the, what, what's going to be the long game for both of these players where Jen, he knows that Fox is just going to be able to break his defenses. That's always what Fox has been able to do, and we even see that as Adi cleans up the stock count very quickly. But also, like, how are you going to stave away Fox? Where are you going to keep him? What are you going to do if he stops pressing in on you? And then on the flip side of the coin, it's a matter of, like, how is Adi going to approach this matchup where he knows how well Palutena can duel with an aggressive character like Fox? Jab dropping the shield though. Jen taking a little damage for that, but worse yet, he's at the ledge. Grab from Odyssey again. He's trying to keep him trapped here. Fox, very, very good ledge trapper, but Jen able to find his way out. I feel like, again, like I feel like that was an up air, that was a back air, that was something. I don't know if Odyssey was warming up the Fox on the side, but he's, he's normally very proficient. I mean, at least from what I remember this Fox. Yeah, I think it's a matter of just being confident in his punishes, figuring out the moves that are going to be the best for opening up Palu. Because another thing to note is, like, a lot of the success we saw from Light earlier in the day with his Fox, he was always willing to swing, and he would oh, yeah. swing hard, whether it was the up smash that he's so well known for, short hop back air, just bringing some sort of chain to the, the end. Ooh, the call out. That's a call out 100%. Saying, hey, Odyssey, I'm noticing you're short hopping a lot. Come catch this up smash. Very nice job by Jen, again, retaining the lead. Like, all of these factors that are working out super well for Jen is what Adi should be exhibiting, but we're seeing a lot of like, poor decisions right now with how he's trying to control the pace of the match. He's just falling right into the Palutena game plan. It's just tough to get out of sometimes, especially, you know, Fox in the disadvantage is just really, really tough sometimes. Good Nair catching Odyssey on his way in for the explosive flame. Odyssey going low, and then the tricky Fox Bypassing the ledge and catching Jen sleeping a little bit. Yeah, the fa that Firefox is like so heavily uh, disjointed now makes it a bit safer to poke around with. It's okay, explosive flame. Yeah. Clean it up. That's it. Right there. Game one going to Jen. Uh, I don't know if I'm out of I'm thinking about it because I think his Palu was playing super duper well today. Uh, but Jen coming in hot off of a uh, nice Palutena did a win against Ray. So it's kind of like, man, do I really want to, you know, fight him? Is Jen eating right Yeah, he, he's Are currently eating those. Is that ramen noodles? Yeah. Jen, come on, man. <laughs> You're about to get at least third at this tournament. I think you could splurge a little bit. Here's some yeah, he splurged. Old. He got the big bowl. Oh, he got the big one. All right. He got the spicy one, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, did he get chicken in it? You know, it's like 50 cents more. Oh, he's sticking with the fox. All right. Let's go, Adi. Yeah, I like it. I think he just, I think there were some things in his game plan that weren't completely there. Like, he kind of missed a, like a back air, a couple punishment opportunities, nothing huge, but I feel like he knows he could play better, and he's sticking with the pick because of it. I like it, because I like Odyssey's Fox a lot. Also, we just commentated and palatated Ditto, so it's okay to take a little break from that. I feel that, man. And we're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2 for the game. I feel like, even though, even though Adi didn't like play at his best, there were hints of his game plan. There were hints right. of like what was going to work. The fact that he's constantly approaching at the ground, the fact that he's waiting for Jen to come to him, mostly. Even if he's going to be forcing a lot of the interactions on his half, he's forcing Jen to come to him as far as like the location of the battles. And that's going to be a lot of the ledge. He doesn't want Jen to hang around in center stage. Like the way that Jen used the auto radical to keep uh, Odyssey, you know, in his uh, in his offensive net. Let's see what we can find now. Trying to find the back air, miss spacing it. He's going to pay for it big time. A forward smash finisher right there. Very nice by Odyssey. Let's see what he can find now. Jen instead, driver's seat but Nair takes it back let's play from Odyssey I Nair. like it staying patient he doesn't want to commit too hard because he knows he can get poked he knows that forward smash isn't as reliable I feel like it will be a really good mix-up option so keep an eye out for that forward smash at the ledge at some point in this set oh god not getting attacked or anything right there good scoop up by Jen getting the up smash and again we're seeing Jen with the lead 
See what he does with it, too. I have a feeling we're going to see some nice spacing from him. Hold on. Odyssey on the hunt, though. Look at him. Odyssey's been doing a really good job baiting out stuff from Jen just with his movement. Like, just his dash dancing, trying to pull out a, a long, you know, Palutena hitbox. But instead, we see Jen off the stage, or Odyssey off the stage, and Jen keeping him there. This was seeing a ton of tomahawks come out from Adi, and this was something that we didn't really get a chance to see with his Palutena, mostly because she's not going to get as much fame, that type of movement option. But when you're constantly making Jen guess, he's not going to be certain 100% of the time. He's going to find that opening, finally get the up smash, put some marks on the board. I like that double jump air dodge too. I mean, Fox obviously his biggest weakness is being cut off on his way back to the stage. So very nice job by Odyssey mixing it up, staying alive in his second stock. Let's see if you can find a little more offense here, Hangman. Now, has what I'm really wondering about right now is the idea that, like, this is Jen who just came off of a solid win. He's playing a ton. He's on fire, and he's already been playing well in regards to the rest of the tournament's performances. Like, he's got to be feeling it fighting this Fox as well. Right, and I mean, Jen was sent to losers by Ling Ling, I believe. Remember yeah. that correctly? Did I, did I make that up? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna double check that for you real quick. But in either case, like, Jen's been going on quite the run through losers. He did lose to Ling Ling pretty early on, actually, right out of pool. So, he's been going on, I feel like there's two, two things that can happen there. You go on a long losers run, you can just keep the momentum up, keep it nice and strong, or, or you kind of run out of steam and that's it. But right now, he's definitely looking like the man with all the momentum. He's looking like the man to beat in this tournament, even though Sinji is waiting in Grand's on winner's side. Ooh, I like that idea. I feel like Odyssey's movement off platforms has been really nice. He's unable to connect that up there, though. Yeah, I, I've been saying earlier in the day that Jen was, like, at least my favorite to win today. Okay. And that's just because he's been showing really well lately at the, uh, at the local tournaments here for Xeno. And up in Westchester, like, he's just been performing super well. It's mostly just because he's super confident with how he's moving, what he's able to challenge with, how much he's willing to get away with, and then just not letting, he, just not being deterred from his game plan. He's going to be up another point on the board. Adi's fighting a hell of a deficit now. Let's note here, too. Jen's coming off a win against Utopian Ray in the Palutena Ditto, but he also defeated Light earlier today, 2-0 Fox versus Palutena. So I feel like if, I, if I'm Odyssey, I'm like, are you kidding me? Both my characters today, and you beat two very good players with them. He's trying to make himself stand out a little bit here, though. Let's see what Adi can do. He is down 0-2. I like how he's taking his time, thinking about it, going to the town and city. It's going to be the choice. Let's see where he goes with the character. Is it going to be King K. Rool? I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Ooh, Falcon. Falcon! Does he play Falcon? I haven't seen the get Adi the, Falcon. Get the, get the victory music queued up. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's already getting ready. Oh, my God. He's definitely got that on a tab somewhere, but this is not something I have seen. This is God. Odyssey's Falcon. Now, Falcon, notably absent from today's tournament as Nick C. Nick C, my man. Not here today. I love Nick C. He's such a fun player to watch. He has a great stream, too, actually. So, guys, you know, shout out to Nick C. Give me <laughs> <laughs> he did. He just landed the first hit. Calm down, Devin. I think it's just because we said Nick C three times, like Beetlejuice. Like if you say Nick C three times, that plays. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, Odyssey doing a pretty decent job here. I feel like off stage is kind of a nightmare for Falcon in this matchup. Like Nair is just so good at catching him out of his stuff, but we're gonna see how he has to recover. Super good. Although this does oh, harken God. back to uh, what you were saying earlier when you're referring to. Oh, like, that's it. That's a that's stock. Gross. Yep. That's yep. so that was gross. Nasty. That was double parry uh, too. It's it harkens. <laughs> it harkens back to what you were calling earlier about characters that can get in on Palu are going to be able to beat her. And there really are fewer characters than Falcon who are renowned for being super fast, super aggressive, and super dangerous. Jen doesn't give a damn about that. Absolutely Look not. at how much percentage he's managed to put on to Adi's second stock. Jen's chilling Ooh, on his what? first still. <laughs> See how fast he just flew out of there on that back throw? Ooh, okay. Odyssey on the hunt here. I like how he's pushing his offense there. Can't get the sweet spot of the knee, though. Here we go. Feigning that. He's showing that back air a lot. Looking for the forward smash to mix up the timing. Can't find it, though. Down air, up air. Good combo. Not enough yet, though. Whoa! The up smash is really strong for Falcon in this game, actually. Okay. Odyssey. Again, still on the hunt here. Back throw, is that? Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. Jen going up big time here. Odyssey really has a mountain of work in front of him to do. Yeah, I think it's just like... Adi just seems lost with the characters that he plays, and going into the Falcon, it's Ooh. it's similar enough in his like playstyle, but it's like he's still oh, floundering God. around, and he's gonna do so in exploding fashion as Jen takes a 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word. Play. Yeah, right here, right with the spike. <laughs> 
You guys hate Falcon, don't you? Like, we do hate like Falcon. We love, we love Nick, but we hate Falcon. Why do you guys hate Falcon? Can you please